is uh, for more and I might just focus Jonathan locally because all eyes on this new 30 year government bond price today. Talk us through the implications of this one. Yes, good afternoon Ingrid, absolutely right. That's kind of the big news in the local market today. The government finally pricing their long awaited 30 year bond. Uh, it's come at about uh, a fixed yield, uh, fix yield of 3.24%. Um, interesting sort of technical thing is that the, the coupon is actually 3%, so it will actually issue it slightly under par. Um, but the, the good thing is that uh, it gives a, a benchmark now to that long end of the curve. So if corporates want to issue, for example, you know, we're always talking about infrastructure being uh, desperately required. If you want to fund long-term infrastructure now, you've got a benchmark to price it against. I mean, it's, it's, it's in terms of the pricing, it certainly is attractive, isn't it? Yeah, look, I mean, you might not think that three and a quarter is much for a 30-year exposure, but, you know, we are one of the few uh, AAA-rated uh, is government issuers with all three agencies, and when you compare three and a quarter to, you know, the negative yields that are around the world in, in other jurisdictions, then it certainly does look uh, pretty attractive if you're a, a pension fund, for example, who's got, you know, 30-year liabilities to fund. What about bond markets globally? We were just discussing here on set about, you know, the US election coming up and all the macro risk involved over the next couple of months in particular. I mean, how's that impacting bond markets right now globally? Yeah, look, it's actually interesting. I think we've seen a bit of risk premium come back into the markets. You know, we've seen uh, government yields go back up by about 20 to 25 points in the last two weeks or so. Uh, our 10-year is about two and a quarter now. So um, I think definitely the uncertainty surrounding the US election is having an effect, although, uh, you know, it seems to be the consensus that Trump has basically talked himself out of any chance. Um, but, you know, we thought that with Brexit and look what happened there. So, like I said, certainly some risk premium coming back into the market. Um, we're also seeing some issuance from CBA following on um, from ANZ's successful US dollar hybrid. They've just launched a, a subordinated lower tier two bond in US dollars, which seems to be very well received. All right, Jonathan Sheridan, always appreciate your update. Thank you. Thanks, Ingrid. Pig Securities there, Jonathan Sheridan.